Welcome back. Uh, we're here in what's this place, the Maharu Cave, on Motavia. Uh, oops, fumbling with my notes. Just move it off to the side. They're not gonna help me here. Just my map. Uh, so only just begun this dungeon, uh, but I've started mapping it already, and I'm really worried that this passage may go off my page. That way should be fine. But this way... Let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Oh, in a corner. Okay, that doesn't quite go off my page yet. It's close, though. I just hope there's no left turns here. Uh... Jeez. Almost like, honestly speaking, I would rather have a lot of twists and turns than a, like a long straightaway, because then I have to count. We got one space that I'm standing in. Two, three, no oh, T. Okay, that's that's helpful. Except that it's moving towards the off the page section. I'm starting to wonder if this place is going to be a bunch of like rings, basically, because that's what it's looking like so far. This place might just be a whole bunch of concentric rings. Uh, which could be cool. In its own way. Yep, that's gonna run off the page. That is not what I wanted. Hmm. How to best deal with that? How... Was that a red slime? I'm playing Dragon Quest now? Okay. Uh. I would actually like to play Dragon Quest one of these days. Like, I never got to play the original ones on NES. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop the page. If I really have to worry about this, then I'll do it between episodes at some point. Uh, so we're gonna just draw that way over here on the other side of the page. Man. And the path continues. Right down this way. Also, long way down. Okay, well. I guess I'm gonna go north. Just let me double check to make sure I'm not getting lost. Okay. Two spaces I drew. We got a third space, fourth space, and a dead end. So that's nice. How about back the other way down this absurdly long hallway? We get back to that T junction. Uh, we got one, we got two, three. Did I move? Crap. I thought I flicked the stick, and then I didn't see the camera move, because I was drawn on my map. And yep, we're fighting red slimes. Wasn't all that threatening. How convenient. Let's hope we get more of those. And their treasure just don't explode. That'd be bad. Alright, so we got one, we got two, three, four. Got one more, it looks like, and then a T. Where it goes back to the other side of the page. Man, this is this is looking really annoying, because unless this rings outward again at some point somehow, I was like one space away from like starting at the proper space on my page. Uh so that's gonna be Albears, what are Albears doing here? Seems like a low-tier enemy. Given where I'm at. All right, well that's back on the easy part to map, so I'm gonna stick over here. Oh, except it turns. So it does indeed 
look like if I had drawn my map one space to the right, it would have all fit on the page without having to loop. How sad for me. Alright, that's fine. Who cares about my convenience anyways? I'm sitting here drawing a map. People came for entertainment. I don't think anyone came here for entertainment. If you're here for entertainment, you know, hey, how's it going? I uh, hope you're having a good time watching me slowly progress through a dungeon while I draw a map. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Man, I hope I counted that right. Uh, if I didn't, it probably won't be too hard to figure that out. Okay, so we're gonna go up one. T junction. Now, unless I'm crazy, this should link me back into a hallway I've already been to. Oh. Uh, yep, I almost certainly miscounted, because. I have a hallway there. Uh, either that or the map is weird. And breaking the rules. So let me let me try to repair this. Cause it's gonna bother me. Um Hmm. So let's see, from the corner. Supposedly the corner. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do I have twelve here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I do. Is the map cheating? Or does it work? Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, hey, guy. How's it going? Oops. Uh, you thief. Yeah, I don't know why they say you thief and then just let you go. Like, that strikes me as a little odd. Alright, well, apparently I got the map right. But that just makes me more confused. Uh, because this should be just like a straight hallway at this point. Uh, unless the game is sort of subtly implying that, like, the floors are sloped. Which is like an old school. I heard about that being in D&D, like, it was a thing that never came in handy, but, like, if you had ball bearings or something like that in, like, old school D&D, uh, you could. Oh, man. I'm not trying to draw this, since it doesn't check out. Unless, of course, I made a mistake somewhere else. Uh, so... <laughs> I don't know how to draw this! Uh, so, hold on. Where was I? Well, I'm here at the T. Got one space. Come on, Tarantula, I'm trying to do a map. Yeah, I don't really like spiders in general. I'm not an arachnophobe. I know a lot of people are like really, really afraid of spiders. I don't like them. They're just kind of a nuisance. Uh, the last time you want a spider showing up is when you're trying to draw a map. Everybody knows what that feels like, I'm sure. Alright, so we got one, two, three, and then we got fourth one, and I guess a fifth one. Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know, because that should be like almost exactly where a T-junction was I was at earlier, unless I seriously botched my map, which I'm really worried about right now. Uh, so I'm actually going to go back. Hey guys, how's it going? 
We are outcasts, forgive us. Um. Oh man. Yeah, those, I, I mentioned, uh, I think, I oh, mean, it would have been several episodes ago now, but uh, when I was like level grinding fighting those guys, one of them said something about beware of pits and dungeons. Uh, which is, I guess, is sort of interesting that they would bring that up, because that dungeon wasn't even on this planet. It may be, there may be a dungeon on this planet that has that function, but it was the other planet where I ran into it. Uh, okay, so, I moved back over to the far side of the map. I should be facing north. Just make sure I'm not crazy again. Like doing regular sanity checks. Just to make sure. Oh, yeah, because this is also... At... At least I marked it at the depth where it should be intersecting with another passage. Did I maybe not count this right? This is the other pathway I'm, I'm worried about not having counted right, so let's try this one more time. We got one space T. And then we got one, two. God dang it, I'm trying to count. Now I'm always never sure like if I overcounted or undercounted, so I start over. Okay, so from the T. Got one, two, three, four, five, and then the next T. So one, two, three, four, five, and the next T. My map checks out. This dungeon is cheating on my map. Hmm. I am genuinely not sure what to do about this. And I want to check this really quick, just because this may be another stairway. Uh. Two spaces in. But they're gonna be weird spaces. I mean, honestly, most of this would work if I just made a mistake somewhere. I think. I think I could fit this whole thing together if I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, so three, four, four, and then a dead end. Uh, so I'm gonna keep trying to see if I made a mistake. Because I'd rather have made a mistake than this dungeon be this confusing. Or rather, this difficult to map out. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, five. And then we're at the T-junction. So we go in this way. And then, according to my map, this should be three spaces in the corner. So one, two, three, and then the corner. Crap. Yeah, so that passageway should have linked into here. So the only thing I can think of is that maybe this is some kind of weird pyramid system? So every time I, like, go to another ring, I'm sort of going down a floor? I mean, like, this this would help a lot if you guys could see my map. Uh, so I realize that's not helpful. Um... Gonna erase a little bit of my map there, just to sort of to make this a little easier on myself. But like honestly, that's my best guess, cause like this doesn't work. Like not from a two-dimensional sense in any rate. All right, so where was I? Cause I kind of forgot. And I'm here at the corner. I think if I go this way, I'll see a T-junction on the left. You know, this also reminds me, though, because I mentioned this, uh... mentioned this a few episodes ago when I was going through the other place, is that, in a sense, like, I don't think this would fly in modern game design. Having all the stuff look the same. Uh... But this is, in fact, how... like, Egyptian tombs were made. To confuse intruders. So, you know, it's kind of nifty in a sense, just also very inconvenient. <laughs> Alright, I want to see if I can finish this ring here first. Uh, because I assume, oops. 
I just wanted to peek down to the hallway! Freaking spiders dropping out everywhere all the time. I gotta say, like, uh, I mentioned a little bit ago that I'm, I'm not scared of spiders. But I feel like if a spider was that big and could shoot webs, like restraining webs, I'd probably be a little more scared of spiders. Just to be completely honest with you. Alright, so that may still link up, unless, like, the map is really weird. That should still link up with, uh, pretty much where I left off. Two, three, and a corner. Alright. One, two, hey guys, can you just move, because I'm trying to count. Okay. Uh, three... Come on! I can see four up ahead and then a T, so that checks out on my map. Alright. We'll look down this way just to see, yep. Still checks out. One, two... Three and a quarter. Alright, so, in general... Like, this is still mostly checking out here. It's weird. And these spiders are annoying. But, like... Yeah, as long as, as, long as my descending passages theory works... Like, it sort of makes sense. Just annoying. Just a nuisance. I like expected pitfalls and teleports, and maybe at some point we'll have freaking walls you can walk through, and then I'll have to run into every wall individually, unless they're somehow marked or easy to tell. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that. Alright, so. Uh. So yeah, I've already been down that way, because so that's just gonna take me to the passage I was at before. So we'll just go on back to the other side and see if it's at the very least uh, symmetrical I guess we gotta be wrapping up this episode here pretty soon so I'll try to finish this floor because ideally it won't be much longer uh, we got one two three four and a dead end yep that's pretty much symmetrical. Uh, so, I just gotta go down this way. Should be straight past it with no other paths. Hold on, though. That seemed much longer than it should have been. Am I going crazy here? I mean, like keep doing these sanity checks, but... So from here, it should only be, like, three spaces to the next T-junction. One... Come... Spiders! Starting to miss the werebats. Shouldn't say that. I didn't like the werebats. They were really getting on my nerves. Alright. I really do feel like I probably went to Yala Cave too early. I had no reason to go there, except for the fact that I could. Uh, so let's see. Ah, come on! And yeah, both the other two caves have been much smaller and much simpler in design than freaking Nuala Cave. So we got one, two... Hmm... Three... Why is this hallway longer? Did I make a mistake? Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, since it ran off the edge of the page and I traced it over to the far side of the page, I did in fact miscount. Uh, the problem was though that I, I miscounted as trying to draw the line from one side of the freaking 8 by 5 sheet and... Okay, I'll repair this between episodes. 
Um, and then we'll go down the stairway. And, you know, I'll stop complaining about my map, because turns out it checks out, I just drew it poorly. Which is, you know, honestly what I expected. But, um, you know, there you go.